We are outside the Druids Hotel at Long Lee. After a rainy week, we had glorious weather. And here are the Men's Forum hikers, resplendent in their walking togs, waiting to start. I put my shorts on because Bob always puts his on and he didn't that day. And here we are now walking down Longley Lane with Longley First School on the left hand side, which will shortly be closed. We turned off Longley Lane and up a steep climb onto Longley Moor. I think some of them thought they were on a Himalayan expedition. It's quite a steep climb but the view from the top is worth it. And there we are now looking out over Keithley. And Long Lane Longley in the foreground. And in the centre can just be seen the Ewa Street Flats. And in the far distance, Silsden. Now we walk across the top of the moor, up towards the gate at the top. Now we turn right and we're now going along an old drove road which we'll feature later on and now we are just approaching Batshaw Lane. The heat was beginning to tell now and we had a brief respite before walking down Batshaw Lane past Batshaw Farm to Glenlee Lane. <coughs> And here we are at the junction of Glenlee Lane, waiting to cross over the road, which becomes busier by the hour. And now we're going down the top of Woodhouse Road, with Ingro in front of us. And we turn on the path here towards Hainworth. The wood in front of us is Chester wood, which derived from Castor wood, which was a Roman encampment in Roman times, so said Dr. Villey. And now we proceed along the path and through the fields to Hainworth. Here Stanley meets one of his Equestrian friends, probably looking for Thelwell to do a drawing. This is a very narrow gateway. We were all waiting for Walter Twig when he got there, as everybody else had to struggle to get through. We're all waiting for Walter. Yeah, yeah, he's pulling us down. <laughs> It'd be better if I go through that way. <laughs> Is it possible? Oh, 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 oh look at that! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. His legs are lovely. Right. Now, the rest of the crowd get through the style. Walter did it with no difficulty because, being so tall, his stomach went over the top of the stones. Now we're just approaching Ainworth village and this was one muddy spot but we soon got round that.
Here we are now in Ainworth village, the old chapel on the left, and many converted cottages and farms round about. He thought that was a friendly horse. And now we walk along this path towards crossroads with Winswood on our right and the heather beginning to show all its autumn glory. In the distance can be seen Goose Court Lane. There is Haworth and in the far distance the moors on the Lancashire border. Now we're walking along past the old quarries and here's the uh, reservoir which used to supply salts mill down in crossroads. And taking advantage of the warm sunny day is a late haymaker. And here we are just turning off the road at Barcroft to where we made our lunch stop. It's looking down over crossroads towards Haworth and a wonderful old brick chimney which by some means has stood up towards the gales. And here we have one of the members meeting an old friend, or was it a new friend? And now we set off from Barcroft over the top where we passed some beautiful houses with immaculate gardens and some beautiful wrought iron and gold gates which must have cost a bomb. And now we go down this path for quite a few hundred yards before we turn left along the Christmas tree plantation when cows wondering what all the commotion is and down this incline and up the other side onto the road from Cullingworth to the guide and here we are passing Old Gormless, which was built by John Smallwood, and now we arrive at the guide where they said they would have a drink when they got to the Druids, but I told them the Druids was closed for alterations, so we all went in the guide. And here is Walter enjoying his pint of smooth, looking at the old Yorkshire motto, here's to me and my wife's husband not forgetting me sin. Now you can see all the teetotalers are. Sid letting us know he's got his walkman working. Now we're walking on the top of the Arden Moor, where the cars on the right hand side is the uh, Keithley Model Aero Club, but they weren't flying that day. Now we're looking down over Keithley, right over towards Ingleborough and Wernside, which we could just see, but it could hardly be seen on this shot in the far, far distance. Now we walk down here. The drove road is in the middle on the left-hand side. This part coming up there was where they used to count the cattle on one section of the drove road to see they hadn't left any behind. There we are looking out, another panoramic view 
and walking on the road towards Harden Road. Here we are at the junction of Harden Road and Alter Lane. We walk just a short distance on Alter Lane, where we see another late haymaker. The Ilkley Moor in the distance. Two days before, this was an absolute quagmire, but it had dried up sufficiently to allow us to use it and save a quarter of a mile detour. And now we are down at the top of Moscow Road. And the lane on the right goes down to Curralaith Farm. Here we are now going down Moscow Road, where we leave it and through the field, which is just to the left of the Longley Cricket Ground, and arrive back at the Druid's Arms after a beautiful, leisurely stroll. 